before they come yeah, we can start a little bit and so they will join by soon no problem can anyone tell me what was the last topic we studied <clears throat> anyone Anyone tell me what is the last topic we studied in the last class? Hydraulic power plant. The mathematics. Hydraulic power plant, isn't it? Isn't it? Yes, sir. Hydraulic power plant. Yes. Hydraulic power plant on twenty one June. Yes. Hydraulic power plant. That was the last topic. So today we'll see a very interesting <clears throat> topic related to hydraulic power plant. and um i have then the students will join soon uh, uh you can uh, see that uh, you know uh today we will calculate that how much energy that is available in the hydraulic power plant and how to calculate the amount of energy and the amount of power uh, from we can get a hydraulic power plant and what is the necessary factor to get a hydraulic energy Uh, to convert hydraulic energy into electrical energy so it's very interesting and um, i have uh, uh, gathered two website those are you know practic practical one is from uh if i go for that is wisconsin valley improvement company and another one is renewable first the hydro and wind company so both are professional hydraulic establishment company they establish hydraulic power plant and um, from their on their website they shows that how to calculate uh, the energy from a hydraulic dam or hydraulic power plant how to calculate so uh, the students are coming uh, we will solve some of the mathematics so before going mathematics uh, let me gather some information gather some knowledge from uh, the practical uh, website that they are implementing and those are the factors that is you know, important for the hydraulic power plant calculations the energy calculation so if you uh, see in this diagram that is um, how can i figure it out how much energy a dam in my area can make suppose uh, you have a dam in an area or you can make a dam in a area so you need to know that how much energy i can produce okay from there on so the two factors that is very important i will give you this two link to your group so you will study from this two very well the two factor that is how far the water falls that means the water level from the ground level and your dam level that is what is the height that means this is your ground suppose and this is your dam so what is that height the effective height from the ground so that is the main important factor the first important factor for the hydraulic power plant energy production so this is one second one is the amount of water flowing in the river okay amount of water that is flowing in the river so uh, this is a very you know critical uh, data that cannot be uh, you know done by us definitely some geographical survey those people who done this uh, so it can be you know per second the flow basically the flow rate the flow rate of water that in a par, in a particular second or in a particular time unit time how much water is flowing that is the flow rate so flow rate or river flow whatever you say uh, so basically that is uh, per second suppose here in an example is given 500 cubic feet per second that means 500 cubic feet the volume of water is 500 cubic feet per second means per every second the this amount of water is flowing okay so these two factor 
is very important for the hydroelectric power plant. So the more these factors are bigger, you get more energy. So there is a difference, subtle difference between power and energy. I think that you know everyone that what is the difference between power and energy, but I, I give you uh, just one idea that the power is basically the multiplication of voltage or in current and in case you have the power factor. But what is the difference between the power and energy? So power, the, the unit is what? Okay, the power unit is what? And the energy unit, if you know that is kilowatt hour or watt hour. Okay, so the power is watt or kilowatt if you consider. So there is a one difference in the energy that is hour. So in energy, the time is very important. No? Time should be mentioned in energy. But in power, there is no value of time. When you add the value of time, when you add the information of time, the power becomes energy. So if you have, suppose you have the power capacity of 10 kilowatt, if you multiply with suppose two hour, so 10 kilowatt with two, that means 20 kilowatt hour, that is the unit of the energy. Or basically we pay for the energy the in our bill electricity bill meter or prepaid bill meter whatever we pay we pay for how much kilowatt hour we have used okay so we used to basically uh, the kilowatt hour for the energy thing so basically uh, if we measure the what is the power available in the elect hydroelectric power plant here we can see that the height of dam the river flow and the efficiency. Efficiency is basically related to because there are several components. There are several components available in the hydroelectric power plant, the turbine, and the generator, the transformer, several components. So everyone has an efficiency level. So it cannot be that the every component is 100% efficient. So everyone has a particular efficiency. So uh, we need to just multiply all, all the efficiency and get a main efficiency of the overall systems. And here you can see that 11.8, that is a different case because of it calculates uh, feet, but it will, you know, uh, it is not in the SI unit, in the SI unit, universal SI unit. So to, uh, to convert from the feet to SI unit, that is a factor. So you can see that uh, height of them, the distance, the water falls measured in feet. Because here in this calculation, everything is measured in feet. That is not in SI unit. That's why they uh, use the factor 11.8 uh, to convert everything to the SI unit. We'll show that uh, in the next, uh, also the river flow, the amount of flow, water flowing in the river measured in cubic feet per second. That means per second, that is the important thing. And here, cubic feet, efficiency, uh, how will the turbine, the generator efficiency, everything, suppose uh, if, I, if I remove, everything one more time suppose that one efficiency is uh, 60 another one is 90 so we need to just multiply we need to just multiply and 11.8 that you can see that the convert the units to feet into kilowatt kilowatt is basically the newton meter that is si unit so we need to convert from there on so that's how we get the power okay suppose um, we if we apply everything we get the 339 kilowatt so that is the unit of power, my student. See, if I want to, suppose if I want to, you know, uh, uh, find the energy uh, for a whole year, at that time, what we'll do? For a whole year, still only 10 students have joined. Uh, Let me write one more time. Okay, so to find out the energy, you can see that uh, we collect the power that is 339 kilowatt. It's 24 hours. That means for a year, for a year, we need to calculate how much hour. We all know that that is 24 hours per day and 365. 
365 you know in a in a year so if you just multiply everything that will be total number of hours available in the year that is the kilowatt hour and you see the difference that is in the power that is kilowatt and in the energy that is kilowatt hour and that's how we calculate the power of a hydroelectric power plant to make you much more clear let me go one more website and um, then we'll go to our our slide also just uh, giving you a idea that how the power is calculated or the energy is calculated for power calculations it is important the river flow and the height the height so you can also say that uh, the power is the rate of producing energy power is measured in watt and kilowatt energy is what we used to do work and measure in kilowatt hour or megawatt hour so don't get confused that uh, what is power what is energy power is you know the rate is the rate of producing energy you know rate that means per second but uh, when you consider when you consider the energy you have to have the time information the time information available uh, within the power so you if you have the power capacity suppose 10 megawatt if you multiply with 20 hours you will get the total amount of energy so just multiplying with the time with the power you get the value of energy so that what i'm trying to say so this is the calculations or this is the uh, you know important equation for calculating the power that is p here p is in you know, a power m is the mass flow per rate per second you said the kg per second that means per second how much water is that is available here g is the gravitational force g is the gravitational force and finally h net is the head head means the total amount of height uh, from the ground okay so this is the equation and finally eta is the basically the equation uh, the symbol of the efficiency so that's how uh, the power of a hydroelectric power plant is measured uh, so uh, you can also uh, see one more thing that is uh, needs to be discussed that suppose uh, for a hydroelectric power plant your turbine efficiency is 85 percent so drive efficiency is 97 95 percent your generator efficiency is 93 percent so what will be the overall efficiency always remember that uh, if you have several efficiency several systems to get the overall efficiency you can multiply all these just like if you remember in the control systems there are several subsystems so to get in the you know one transfer function of the several subsystems which is done in series because from the turbine it goes to drive then it goes to generator then it goes to transformer so everything is in series connected so that's why to find out the overall efficiency we can multiply everything we can multiply everything and we get the total or overall efficiency of that particular system okay so uh, so that was the you know main way to find out the power of hydroelectric power plant that always remember that uh, we need to get uh, the if we want to get the power of uh, hydroelectric power plant we need the uh, the amount of water per second the effective height and the net efficiency so i will give this to link to your group so that you can have a you know go through totally and uh, it will be you know help you much more these are because these are practical websites practical websites from the available company so uh, let me wave, open our um, slides for a bit because my pc got restarted suddenly i don't know why So I'll share those two links in your group. I'll definitely see. So definitely see. So today uh, our main topic is how to calculate the you know the amount of power available in the hydroelectric power plant. So that is our main topic today. So we'll see that how to calculate the amount of power and amount of energy. Uh, so uh, this is the this is the you know schematic diagram of hydroelectric power plant. You all know that uh, there is a reservoir or dam available here. 
and um, so already 14 students have joined you see that there is an available dam here or the reservoir where the water is you know reserved and used as the potential energy then the water is goes through the valve house then finally using the pen stroke it goes to the power hole that means in the turbine and the turbine rotors and we get the energy so that is a schematic diagram or arrangement of the hydroelectric power plant uh, if you missed this class yesterday please see our video lecture and i have i have also given two video uh, uploaded in your facebook uh, facebook group so you can see that two video that will help you that how to how the hydroelectric power plant really works it's very interesting so uh, before doing this 2.6 let me go for 2.7 first then we come uh, that uh, 2.6 okay so first of all my student here you can see that <coughs> that it has been estimated uh, in the mathematics state that the, it has been estimated uh, that the minimum run of the approximately 94 meter cube per second that means the water flow is 94 meter cube my student 94 meter cube for meter cube per second meter cube is the in this you know is a unit of volume and per second that means every second the water flow is 94 meter cube available of at a, at a hydraulic hydro hydraulic project that is hydroelectric power plant with a head of 39 meter that means the head the water level difference from the ground that is effective that is 39 meter so determine the farm capacity so determine the farm capacity and yearly gross output how much yearly we get the output so and assume that the efficiency of the plant is 80% so always remember the two information that is very important to find out the power that is one is how much um, the volume or how much uh, water has been you know going through and another one is the height so my student first of all in our our uh, book it is not properly you know uh, organized the mathematics so uh, you just follow my instructions that first of all, we need to find out what is how much weight. So in weight, you can see that we don't have uh, the weight. We have only 94 meter cube, 94 meter cube. So that is a volume, my student, that is a volume. So how to find out the weight from this volume? Always remember that for water, one meter cube volume of water, one meter cube you can write also or it is written in the previous example also one meter cube volume of water is equals to 1000 kg of water 1000 kg of water it is a universal truth information is tested because water in in anywhere water is same always same so there is no you know uh, disorderness so one meter cube water is equals to 1000 kg of water so that is the conversion from the meter cube to uh, from meter cube to you know kg so here we have 94 meter cube so basically the weight will be 94 into 1000 that is kg per second definitely per second the flow rate the water head is 9 39 the water head is 39 so finally we uh, as we as we already saw that the the equation was m g g is the gravitational force h h is the you know the height uh, height into the efficiency eta so here the m equals to 94000 kg then and g is 9.8 h is 39 and eta is given as 80 percent so if you all multiply everything if you multiply everything my student okay you will get the farm capacity here you can see the first of all they multiplied with the uh, thing then you may they multiply with 9.8 then they, they say that this is the gross plant capacity then they multiplied with the uh, plant efficiency. Then said that this is the farm capacity. It's not required. It's very lame 
a way of you know solving problems. You just use one equation, place all the information one time, you get the firm equation, firm capacity. Okay, so it's not required that you need to do step by step. No, not like that. We are all a matured students. We all know that how to solve these are very small problems. So don't need to, you know, step by step. You get all the information, just place all the information into this equation. You can use this equation, M into G into H into eta. Okay, this is the universal equation for the hydroelectric power plant. So they have introduced a W, W because um, we all know that W is the amount of weight, weight equals to mg. So that's why they introduced weight in place of mg, but you can also write mg severally, no problem. So this is the first uh, problem that is firm capacity. That is capacity is always in power. My student, capacity is always in power. You see that this kilowatt. You'll find out in kilowatt. Capacity is always in power. But when they say that yearly gross output, okay, capacity is the capacity for the power station, but output means the electricity output, okay? And the electricity output is definitely calculated in the energy. But how much energy we get from this, um, th this capacity of uh, hydroelectric power plant? So at that time, yearly gross output, we know that capacity is 28,770 kilowatts. So we just, we just have the power. Always remember that the equation is something like that. E equals to PT. Okay. E equals to PT. P is power, T is time. Or P equals to E by T. You know, probably you know this equation from physics or, or your circuit, uh, circuit courses. I don't know. But E equals to PT. So energy equals to P into T. So we already know the, um, the uh, power is 28,770. Now we need the uh, time. That in a year, we already calculated in a year how much hour? That is 8,760. 8,760, my students. So when we have the 8,760 hours, we just multiply with that. We get that 252 into 10 to the power 6 kilowatt hour. So the kilowatt hour is, we all know that this is the, this is the unit of energy, the kilowatt hour. So that's how we will solve the how to find out the um, the electrical energy from a hydroelectric power plant. So let's get back to the first uh, first thing. You see that uh, in this uh, in this problem, uh, it is told that a hydroelectric generating station is supplied from a reservoir, and that reservoir capacity is five into ten to the power six cubic meter. Okay cubic meter at a head of 20 meter. So find the total energy. My student find the total energy in kilowatt hour if the overall efficiency is 75%. You see that here there is, there is um, no flow rate is given here. No flow rate, no time is given here. So how to find out uh, power? So from here, we can, we can follow the same way to find out the energy. How? You see that at first we can definitely measure that M. M, how can we measure? We have 5 into 10 to the power 6 cubic meters. You see that 5 into 10 to the power 6 cubic meter. And I said that 1 cubic meter water, the mass is 1000 kg. So we can multiply with 1000. We get that. If we multiply with 9.81, that is the G, we can get the Newton, isn't it? Because we know that the weight, uh, that is the Newton. So Mg, basically they multiplied with the 9.81. That is, the you know, the gravitational force constant, 9.81. So finally, we got this. This is the weight. With the height is given here 20 meter. And the efficiency is also given here 75%. But interestingly, you see that watt second. Interestingly, it is given as watt second. What is watt second? There is a question in this um, in this type of problem. So it is watt second. How can we get watt second here? So this is a directly calculated equation. There is no calculation of power because in to calculate power we need flow rate. But here we can directly calculate the energy. So watt second. How we get watt second? You see that. From the W, H, and N overall, the unit, W unit, 
is newton okay my student w unit is newton the height unit is meter that is 200 meter height meter is 200 so what will be the meter uh, unit that the unit will be newton meter newton meter but to get what what we need newton meter per second that is the unit of what one one watt equals to one watt equals to newton meter per second but we don't have second here because we don't have flow rate that's why we don't have second here okay so to get this second we have only newton meter we have only newton meter if i if i remove this we have only newton meter but to get the newton meter per second because we need what we need to represent in what so what we can do we can multiply with s and divide with s okay in the two sides upper side and lower side s so there is no change so this is the newton meter divided by second that is what that is what and this second is second so you see that that's why it is written as the watt second because there is no per second available here because there is no power water flow rate is given here that's why that uh, we need to um, you know apply this type of uh, tactics to get the watt second so now we all know that the energy level is kilowatt hour okay so we have watt second to get kilowatt hour we need to how much um, one kilowatt equals to 1000 watt and one hour equals to 3600 seconds see if we just divide this two value we get we can convert from watt second to kilowatt hour so in the next line you can see that we divide 3600 divided by 1000 just to convert from watt second to kilowatt hour so if we just divide this two value we can easily get the available electrical energy from this kind of hydroelectric power plant okay so that was the uh, uh, one way to solve when there is no when there is no water flow flow rate per second is given in our question uh, we can uh, we can we will see what two more example that will make much more uh, clear so suppose in the 2.8 Please, my students, if you have any problem, please definitely you unmute yourself and uh, ask me the question. Uh, so uh, in this 2.8 example, uh, you can read that the water for a hydroelectric power station is obtained from a reservoir. Okay, a reservoir with a head of 100 meters. That means head is given H equals 200 meter. It is given eight. H equals 200 meter, it is given calculate the electrical energy you have to calculate the electrical energy generated per hour that means one hour that is given here one hour is important per hour per cubic meter of water that means the flow is cubic meter okay if the hydroelectric efficiency is 8.86 and the electrical efficiency is 0.92 so basically there are two efficiency to get the overall efficiency we just multiply those two to get the overall efficiency we get the multiply these two you see that n overall equals to multiplication of these two we get the 0.79 that is the overall efficiency so my student height is given 100 meter the discharge basically the amount of water discharging per second the per cubic meter that is one cubic meter one meter cube okay, that is discharging every second the rate is given here so we all know that mgh m g h into eta okay so m what will be the mass one meter cube i already told you that one meter cube that is 100 1000 kg so 1000 kg will be available here 1000 kg into g is 9.8 9.81 basically and h is given here 100 
my student h is given here is that is 100 into eta we already find out the multiplication of the two efficiency that is 0 0.79 so if we multiply all the values we get the power that is 777 seven, uh, sorry 775 kilowatt that is power we get from our power equation now we need to find out the energy as i already told or already mentioned that there is it, it should be measured for one hour so if you just multiply with this one of this power you get that 777 75 kilowatt hour that is the available calculated electrical energy for per hour it's a very easy type of problem so we don't need to you know just remember these equations and follow the process that i have shown okay so similarly <clears throat> we will go to the last example of our and um, <clears throat> pardon me so um, I will give you a role in the chat box, everyone. So the 16 students, please give you a role in the chat box, everyone. Everyone give you a role in the chat box, everyone. So my student, uh, a hydroelectric power station you can see that a station has a reservoir of an area 2.4 square kilometers okay the area the reservoir area has 2.4 kilo square kilometers and the capacity of 5 into 10 to the power 6 meter cube that is the water capacity the effective head of the water is 100 meter the head is given as 100 meter the different efficiency, the pen stroke, the turbine, the generator efficiency is 95%, 90% and 85%. The first problem is that calculate the total electrical energy that is generated from the power station. I am giving you five minutes. You just uh, see and can solve by yourself, by your paper. Uh, I am taking five minutes a break for uh, just for me. You just see that and solve. You can solve by yourself. You can see, uh, take help from this page or solve by yourself. I'm, I'm back after just five minutes. Give me five minutes.
Sorry, my students, just for that uh, two, three, four, four, five minutes break. I think that you have already uh, seen some of the students and uh, some of the students may not, but okay, no problem. Let me discuss um, that in, in this example, you see that a reservoir, okay, a reservoir, uh, basically the dam, after creating that dam, a reservoir is, that area is 2.42 square kilometers. The capacity, that means the water capacity of that reservoir that is five into 10 to the power six meter cube. And the effective head that is 100 meters meter. The pen stroke, the different efficiency is 95%, 90 and 85%. So what will be the overall efficiency? Definitely we multiply all these three, we get the overall efficiency, okay. So what is, it is told that calculate the total electrical energy that can be generated from this power station, okay. My students, if you see that, <clears throat> that there is no flow rate is given here. Okay, so we can, we don't need to find out the power. We can is directly find out the electrical energy from this. So at, at last, at first we need to find out M, then we place the value at G, we place the value H and finally the eta, okay. Here capacity is five into 10 to the power six. So this is meter cube to find out in the, you know, uh, OKG, we, we know that per meter cube equals to 1000 kg. So if you just multiply with that, you get that amount of kg. So this will be the value of M. And for G, we just place 7 point, uh, sorry, 9.81. We place the H, the value of H is given here is 100 meter. And the overall efficiency, if you just multiply the all, it will be 0.726. So if you place all those four values, <clears throat> just like here, you get that. And uh, the unit will be watt second. Why it will be watt second? I showed in the last example, probably last, um, the second last probably. The why it is watt second? Because as there is no uh, direct uh, flow rate is given here, that's why there is no part second. So for that, we need a second. So we have watt second, but we all know that the energy, um, unit is kilowatt hour so from watt to kilowatt we all know that 1000 watt equals to one kilowatt and 3600 second is equals to one hour okay so if you just divide these two value that 1000 and 3600 we get the kilowatt hour so finally we basically we get the value of electrical energy so that's how the process when there is no flow rate is given, only the capacity is given, that's how. But interestingly, in the second, uh, in the second uh, uh, mathematics, uh, that if a load of 15,000 kilowatt, a load with the capacity is 15,000 kilowatt has been supplied for three hours. Three hours, the load has been supplied. Find out the fall in the reservoir level. What does it mean? My students, if this is a dam and this is the reservoir, okay, this is the height of 100 meter. This is the height of 100 meters, suppose. And here the water is available here. And I say that, you know, we all know that uh, from this uh, reservoir, the water is supplied to the, using pen stroke to the turbine. So definitely when that hydroelectric power plant will be in operation and it will, it will supply to the load, then this water level will decrease okay so basically we need to find out that how much decrease in this water level so that was the thing we need to find out in this example so my student i think you are clear that what is what does it mean that uh, what is the fall fall means the decrease in height of water level suppose uh, in our uh, in our hydroelectric uh, reservoir, we have 100 meter, till 100 meter uh, height of water. So after producing this amount of energy, okay, 
techno camion ski raised yeah you uh, unmute yourself and ask question no problem which techno camion which techno techno can you hear me Techno, can you hear me? Is there any question? Please. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Who, who? Yes, please tell. Please unmute yourself and tell. Techno. Who? No, sir. I don't have any questions, sir. Just uh, accidental. Is it Kapu? Okay. Oh, if there is no name, how can I understand that who one is talking? Okay, no problem. Kapu, sir. Okay, no problem. Okay, no problem. You see that uh, what was we were discussing that the find out the fall in reserve level. So suppose we have hundred meter of. Uh, level of water so after uh, supplying this amount of power uh, our level now reach us 90 meter so basically the fall is 100 minus 90 that is 10 meter water has been falls for supplying that power because this 10 meter water has been gone to the turbine and turbine runs and we get the energy so uh, to find out let me say <clears throat> first of all we take that suppose x meter fall in the reservoir in three hours x meter fall suppose that how much fall we need to find out suppose we take that as a x meter okay so and this fall has been done till three hours so we can we can find out the flow rate because here that time is given the time is given three hours now we need to find out the flow rate that how much water has been transferred in per second so for that we need to find out total volume of water okay my student <coughs> suppose uh, this is the reservoir from the top level top view we have the area is given this is the reservoir in the top view the area is given Okay, we all know that to find out the volume, we need height, x, we need width, y, and also we need depth, z. So three value we need. So we have the area. The area of the reservoir is given. Area means the top level, we have the length and the width. Okay, and what is will be the height the height we already taken that means this is the top view the reservoir this is the top view and the side view suppose this will be the reservoir in the side view so this will be the amount of height that is dropped so my students don't confuse this is the top view of the river uh, if you see from the drone from the top view of the reservoir this is the overall area and this is the side view if you cross section the cross section the uh, the reservoir this will be the side view and this is the height so from here we get the area if we multiply area with height we get the volume of that area if we multiply the area with height because in area we have length and width both and we have height x so that's why the volume of water is area of the reservoir into x that's why it is written here the area of the reservoir into x <clears throat> the area of the reservoir is already given 2.6 square kilometers so uh, square kilometers we will convert that uh, into the you know meter so square means 10 to the power 3 meter 1 kilometer equals to 10 to the power 3 it need to be square so at that time it will be 10 to the power 6 
So that's why 2.4 into 10 to the power 6 into x. And as it is a 3 hour, we need to find out per second. So 3 into and every hour we have 3600 seconds. So this is the meter cube. This is the amount of water per second discharging, my student. So, <clears throat> so the rest of the things are same. You see that uh, as is a meter cube, we need to convert into kg. So we need to multiply with 1000, then multiply with the G is 9.81. Then the height, height is 1000, sorry, 100, height is 100 and the overall efficiency. So that you see that the power is, this is the overall power equation. Finally, we get that if you multiply everything, we get this is the amount of power. But in our question, the power was mentioned that in three hours, 15,000 has, watt has been transferred. So you see that, so basically this will be the equal to 15,000. So from here equation, if we divide that, we get the, Area amount of height that is 0 0.0947, that means 9.47 centimeter of water. <coughs> 9.47 centimeter of water. So basically, the level of reservoir will fall by this 9.47 centimeter. We find the power from our equation. The power is already given because there are one variable missing that is x. So from this two, we build the equation and from there on, we find out the value of X. So that's how we need to find out the amount of water available or amount of uh, water discharged for producing that kind of energy. So my students, uh, that, was, uh, that was the you know, uh, thing that I wanted to uh, tell you that uh, how to calculate the hydroelectric power station, overall power and overall energy. So uh, always remember that hydroelectric power station is based on the uh, the potential energy of water. We all know that the MGH, the potential energy of water. And uh, you check this, uh, this mathematics, but definitely I, I give you two links of the two websites. Those are very effective websites. So definitely study from there also, because there they have given so, uh, so clearly examples. In our book, a little bit, uh, you know, um, disorganized in terms of this chapter or in terms of this type of mathematics a little bit disorganized that's why you know sometimes uh, it might problem but uh, whatever i have discussed if you follow that it will be very easy for you but still uh, uh, now i am uh, opening my floor to for all of my students and uh, is there any questions you can ask me my students if is there any question you can ask me and if do, you do not give your role please give in the chat box is there any question, my student? I have unmuted all. Everyone is uh, muted by yourself. I don't know why, uh, but I have unmuted all. If there are any question from your side, you can ask me. You can any question, if you have any question, you can ask me. And if you do not give your role, please give a role in the chat box. Uh, I'm not seeing that everyone's role is available here. Role uh, 34, role 30, uh, 42, role 20, role 43, role 12, 32, 41, 33, 39, 36, 30, 14, role 1, role 25, role 51, role 45. If you have missed, please give your role in the chat box. And also, if you have any question, please tell me. Sir, I have a question or I need to discuss something like that. Anyone? <clears throat> no, sir. Okay. If you don't have, then at, at least tell that, sir. No, sir. I, I, I don't have question. At least that will also a feedback. So, yes. Or if you have any questions, you can ask me. Any question? No, no sir. No, okay. sir. If you don't have any questions, if you have, don't have any questions, you can leave. And if you have any question, you can stay. But I will tell um, uh, Ahmed and Abbas. I will to stay. Uh, if uh, other students go, then we will discuss five or six minutes. If you have any questions, you can ask me, you can stay. Or otherwise, you can leave. Our class, main class is end. This is the last 
some minutes. I will discuss if you have any questions. If you have any questions, uh, then you can uh, definitely ask me. I'm still here. But if you don't have, you can leave. You can leave, no problem. Is there any question? Is there any question, my student? Is there any question, my student? Uh, Awil, Ahmed, and Abbas. Uh, you stay. The rest of the thing, students can leave if you have no questions. If you have questions, then tell me, I will answer. No problem. And um, Muhammad Abdullah, same. You can, if you have questions, you can hear or you can uh, leave. No problem. Hello. Uh, 